Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 26th of 2023. Well, it is titled Crescents of Venus. So what do we see here? Well, here we see seven pictures of Venus taken over the last couple of months. And one thing you'll notice, first of all, is that it looks like our moon in that it shows a different that it shows different phases. And we can see a quarter phase off to the left hand side on May the 23rd. And we, see, we can see a very thin crescent on October the 8th. Now, Venus does go through a series of phases, much like our own moon does. And in fact, any object that can get between us and the sun will go through a set of phases like this. And in fact, this was one of the things observed by Galileo that showed that at least Venus had to orbit the sun in order to account for the cycle of phases that we saw. Now we also notice that Venus changes in size. We see a small quarter phase off to the left, a very large crescent phase off to the right. That changes because Venus is getting closer to Earth. So when it's a quarter phase, it's further away. And when it's a crescent phase, it's close to in between Earth and our sun. And that makes it appear a little bit larger. So the changing distance will change the size, apparent size of the planet in the sky. Now, would you notice that directly? Uh, not necessarily. You would not notice it by looking at it that the phase is actually changing. But you would see the brightness changing a little bit. So here what we see is again that set of phases as it approaches its inferior conjunction. And in fact that occurred on August the 13th. So on August 13th it reached what is called inferior conjunction. Now an inferior conjunction occurs when a planet passes between Earth and the Sun. So they're lined up together and that would correspond to the new phase of Venus. So on August 13th, you would not have been able to see it. Now during this, this, this set of pictures, Venus was very prominently visible in the evening sky as the evening star. And it is as it reaches inferior conjunction, it will then transition to the morning sky. So if you want to see Venus now, you have to look in the morning sky right before sunrise off in the east. Before the sun rises, you will see a very bright object rising and that will be the planet Venus. And in fact, that will be noted prominently for the remainder of the year, we will be able to see Venus very prominently in the morning sky. So if you get a chance, get out there and take a look and you can see Venus as uh, you won't be able to see the crescent, but you'll be able to see Venus prominently as the morning star very prominent over the next few months. So that was our picture of the day for August 26th of 2023. It was titled Crescents of Venus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be three galaxies and a comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.